So here is video number two of the sponsored videos. In this one, we will cover Dig Assist. This is actually set up on a 220E excavator identical to mine. Uh, in this video, up at the uh, customer center for Volvo Construction Equipment, uh, we're up on a stockpile of dirt, and I'm kind of, you know, I've never used this system before. This is their own grade control system that they've developed, and um, I've never used it before, and this is my first time trying it out. So in the beginning of this video, we'll discuss, you know, setting up the grades and everything, and then throughout the video, it'll show me uh, as I start digging and uh, learning it. So this is the first time I've used it, and you'll kind of see how the results go in the next 15 minutes. Hope you enjoy. So here we have a EC220E uh, excavator with their new Dig Assist program. And Matt here is going to show me how to set a grade. We're going to dig a trench approximately 50 foot long and put a slope on it simulating that we are going to lay pipe. We'll start off at say a four foot cut and maybe pull it up to a two foot cut or we'll just put in a percentage here just to kind of show how this can assist you in digging a sloped a trench that is sloped. All right, first off, I want you to reach toward the lower left and touch the icon that looks like a hard hat. Then touch Add Project on that top line. Add Project. All right, if you want to give it a name, you can, or you can just take the default. Your just, choice. Which one's the default? Just cancel? No, just the, uh, the OK is for Project. OK. We'll just do OK. All right. Slope. Yep. Attachment again. Attachment. Let's Big do our tooth. center tooth. Set. And then we're going to need a positive slope because we're going to be digging up. Correct? Sounds right. We'll go from there. So it's already at L. So and we will. icon, it's a cross. So if we do a 5% 5 5 slope. Right. Set that. In which direction? Because that's going to be up toward the cap. So yeah, I want, it, I want to be digging. Because you when you're doing pipe, you want to set it at the bottom and work your way up. Right. If you had a tilt bucket, you could hit the C mm -hmm. and do a cross slope. But we're going to do just a logical okay. slope. So, so set, set at 5%. Now you can do your offset here. So hit the plus symbol and how far deep you want to go so it's got you know a default which is okay. probably half a meter uh, so, so say you know, i want to start it at four feet yeah we'll just i guess if you get tired of those see the little calculator icon then you can just type it in i'll just do four yeah. four even correct yep all right but it's plus so you gotta change the sign so what you got is it's going to try it above grade right now see it's okay so i need to grade. change this to just pop it once Yep. Negative. Now you're four feet. So from grade. this grade right here, we're going to cut down four feet, and as I dig back, we're going to be coming up at a five percent slope. Yep. So hit the set button. Set. And like any project, hit save. Save. And now you're free to start. You've mm -hmm. got your target there. That um, line is my four foot target, correct? Okay. And then, not that you need them right now, but if you needed other views, do you see the icon in the lower right? Looks like a window pane. Right here. Yeah. That's why I set you up with the different views you have available okay. to you. And you can do your yeah. because top, this, the and 3D, then... We wouldn't do the 3D, and I'm going to show you why it's not helpful. Which one particular. is that, the smart view? Smart view is going to be similar to having that camera. You can okay. have the camera show up here as well. All right, and then just exit out. Yeah, you can have one to four. Okay, smart view is connected to this today. Okay. So we can de deactivate that at any time. Now, because you're doing a slope, it's just a plane. So when you have your top view and your 3D view, you've got that green and it's just indicating the plane. Yeah. So when you're digging probably for this, we might want to switch it just to the front view and the side view. How so do you change it back to your window? Exactly. Your front view. Yeah, uncheck those, uncheck top, check side. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. That way I can look at it and then I can see myself going right. up. And then, of course, you've got the little slider there. Yep. And you can pull that out for indication of how close you are. Okay. And just like cell phones, if you need to increase or shrink the size of one of those images, it's you just, just that little pinching that icon. Yeah, just pinch or open your fingers up to zoom in, zoom out. All right. Short well, of that, you are good to go. Sounds good. Let's dig a ditch. All right. Let me get out of your way. All right. We're going to start cutting the ditch now. I'm just going to do a simple... I think this is a 36 inch digging bucket. I'm just going to do a simple trench, four feet deep with a 5% slope. So 
you can kind of see the monitor. I'll lean back so you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. Let me hang it just a touch. There we go. So we'll get down and we'll hog it out to our target depth. And then we'll slow it down a little bit. And get on grade. See, as you can tell right here, I still got to go down one foot. So we'll dig this out real quick. Get on down to our grade. And then we'll use it to kind of carry our slope out. Let me slide this seat back just a touch. There we go. I'm a little curious on just how much more I got to go. It's 1.3 feet right there. So I can go ahead and square this on up. Go ahead and go ahead and get a good bucket full out. And then once I feel like I'm getting a little closer, I make a little less of a cut. See, we got that's grade right there. I got to come up 1.3. 0.15. So if I come in here and put my bucket down flat, see that actually I got a little bit happy. But if I come up to about right here, let me get that out of the way. And right there is great. I mean, you're going to get it, you know, doing storm water, you're going to get it pretty close. Um, but it's crazy. I can come in here, and once you get it on grade, and come up three tenths, which is right there, and I take this bucket and pretty much slide it. I'm right on grade right there. And then I can just continue to trench on.
takes a little bit of getting used to. That way you can look at the screen and what you're doing at the same time. grade right there. I want to see if I can not just continue that right on up. Scoot the bucket right on around. Right on grade right there. A little bit low. I can't bring that back up. Like I say, we don't have anything like that, so I mean, there's a learning curve, but this is my first time ever being on this, and grade is perfect. You know, here within, let's see, perfect. You know, I started off a little bit rough, but you know, over a course of 40 foot, I'm already getting it where I can pretty much hold a grade. And that's pretty quick learning curve, I think. Make sure there's nobody back there and we should be able to about pull this out of the ground on this path. Get it pretty close to it. myself kind of eyeballing it but then you know and come back and be like okay it looks like a little bit of a hump right here but it's dead on so I mean 
without knowing that, I would probably skim that off another tenth or so before knowing. And I can come back here. Okay, this is where we got to end up at. I'm still one point or point fifteen high, so I can just come in here and just make a little skim coat. Skim cut, not a skim coat. And then I'd be like, perfect, right on great. So there's doing a that's probably 40 foot long trench, four foot cut on a five percent grade coming up with dig assist. 